Okay, what I have for you here is a toy motor that I built out of Lego, some magnets, and some magnet wire. Everything on the motor is Lego except the magnets, the steel banding that I'm using as an armature for those magnets, the magnet wire, and some bare copper wire as a commutator. It's a four pole motor. Each pole is a 10 turn winding split across two teeth of a 40 tooth primary pair of 42 gears. Each pole goes all the way across the gear from one side to the other, split across the back side for balance. Uh, 10 turns each of number 20 magnet wire, soldered in the center of the magnet there, in the center of the gears that is, to the commutator wires which are the grounding conductor from a household Romex wire. Those commutators are mounted on eight tooth Lego gear and just held in place with some electric tape. The magnets are neodymium N48 magnets from Apex Magnet and they're just sitting on a pair of, or sitting on a, a steel armature. Lego manufactured a tack. Um, it's not available new anymore but I got it from Bricklink. So if I turn the tack on, Lego logo, and if I give it a give it a turn, you can see the RPM. Uh, I power this with a six volt lantern battery, and I can typically get four thousand or more RPM. The tack actually tops out at four thousand, so beyond that, I'm not sure how fast I'm going. So let's see how it goes. So we'll go slow just to see it start and see the direction. And once I find the ideal spot, commutator grab, not a problem in a real motor. There we go, more than 4,000. And if we reverse the polarity, sometimes it works better in one direction than the other. spot on my wire. And there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed this.